Maurizio, first of all, huge congratulations. How big a performance, how big a win was that for you today? No, amazing performance. So happy, full credit to the player. And uh, yes, perfect game. I think he scored six and clean sheet. That is a dream came true. <laughs> See, I was going to talk about the goals, but the clean sheet is so important, isn't it, after what we've been talking about over previous weeks? Yeah, it's so important. Again, a team that uh, produces a lot and, and is so dangerous in uh, offensive situations and pieces and everything. I think today the team was fantastic, so good spirit from the beginning, and I think that make uh, us very pleased. We were talking about Cole Palmer off camera, the achievements, the stats keep coming, keep coming. Back to back hat tricks, and then a fourth tonight as well. I mean, what a performance. Yes, amazing performance. I think the whole team, but I think him, because he scored four goals, I think we all is, are going to prize him. Um, nah, so happy, so happy for him, so happy for the team because it was a good result, good performance to to go now to prepare the, um, the semi final, the FA Cup semi final. I think, I think it's, it's going to be good. One more on Cole to score back to back hat tricks. The first Chelsea player to do so since Didier Drogba in, in 2010 kind of puts into context how big an achievement this is, doesn't it? No, massive achievement. And I think uh, the last two games here uh, uh, on Stanford Beach, uh, seven goals, I think it's a fantastic achievement. Yes, congratulate him, congratulate him to the team because also the team make a very good job to provide him the, the balls to, to score. Uh, fantastic, fantastic for uh, the feelings and, and the three points. For Alfie Gilchrist, I think he's still grinning from ear to ear. A special moment for him to score his first senior goal. Yes, amazing for him and great goal. So happy. He's an amazing guy. And the way that he works and always available. And that is the type of player that always you want in the, on the squad. We've spoken before, Maurizio, throughout this season about these nearly moments where things have nearly happened. Do you feel that everything came together perfectly tonight? Yeah, that is the process. Always process, process, process. Keep believing, working. That is the most important thing. And, and being clever in the way that you provide the tools to the to the player to improve. Um, yes, the, this all type of thing need to happen to, to learn quick and, and move forward the team. Speaking about learning maturity, I know you're upset about the situation with yes, regards to the, the the penalty. I mean, it, does that come down to maturity? No, this is a shame. That is a shame. We were talking on the dressing room after with the whole squad and the and the staff. I wa I wanted that uh, everyone listen. That, that I'm not going to accept uh, again that this type of thing happened. That showed that we are in a process to learn. That they need to learn. We are in Chelsea and we need to think in a. Collect in the collective is the is the objective, and then of course uh, you can reach or can you know uh, have an individual challenge, but always you need to think first for the team, and then uh, make clear that uh, Palmer is uh, the taker on the penalty, and this type of situation we are going to fix. I'm not going to accept, and next time that that happen, I I was telling the I was telling the player I'm going to take decisions and a strong decision, and but that I think is not going to happen again because it's. I think they are, they are clever and they are going to learn from these situations. This win leaves you three points behind sixth place with a game in hand. Does this give you a perfect opportunity to push on? Yes, it's a great opportunity to push now. Uh, yes, even with too many circumstances because uh, too many injured players that cannot be available. But I think the team is, is, is showing a very, very good spirit and great spirit. And that is the way that we need to approach the next game. And finally, I know you mentioned it a couple of minutes ago. Does this give you the perfect platform to go into the game against City at Wembley? Yes, better impossible. Scoring six goals, uh, no conceding, is a perfect platform. But now it's about to be consistent and to try to show the same spirit and energy uh, on Saturday. Cole, first of all, can you even begin to put that performance into words? Incredible. Yeah, you know, I think not just me, but the team as well. We was we was on it tonight, and it showed, and yeah. Was, was buzzing. <laughs> it felt like it's, it's a season of nearly moments. Did it feel like everything really did come together tonight? Yeah, tonight was one of them where we had chances and everything went in, and they had chances and they didn't score. But I think take nothing away from us, we played well tonight. An incredible performance from you individually. We were just saying off camera, the first Chelsea player to score back to back hat tricks since a certain Didier Drogba in 2010, and that was across two seasons. So, what, what does that mean to you? Yeah, you know, it was a great start. Buzzing with it. And yeah, it was a perfect hat trick, so delight. A perfect hat trick in 30 minutes. It's incredible. 29, no. 29, but <laughs> no, yeah. I was joking, I was joking. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't even know it was a perfect hat trick till, till um, after the game. But yeah, I take it. 
It's been a phenomenal season for you so far. Joint top scorer in the Premier League. The accolades, the, the stats, they just keep on coming, don't they? Yeah, you know, to be up there with the likes of Erling, even no from City is just amazing and hopefully I can just keep, keep playing. Have you even surprised yourself as to how well things have gone for you in your first season at the club? Yeah, definitely. I didn't think it was going to go like this. When I left Man City, I just wanted to play football and this is my first season actually playing football. So to go out, it's going is, is amazing. And the relationship you have with the Chelsea fans already, that ovation when you came off in the second half was something you'll remember, I'm sure. Yeah, of course. You know, I think from the first few games, me and the Chelsea fans have connected and hopefully we can we can make some, some good memories together. Next up, small matter of your old club at Wembley, FA Cup semi-final, that's shaping up to be something pretty special, isn't it? Yeah, you know, against arguably the best team in the world. Yeah, we're looking forward to it and no better place to play at Wembley. And finally, you've walked away with the match ball. Let's have a quick look at it. That's going to be uh, on the mantelpiece, I'm assuming. Yeah. My last one's at my mum's, to be fair, in Manchester, so I think I'll, I might keep this one. Don't blame you. Well done. Thank you very much. Alfie, first of all, congratulations. A huge performance, massive win. What did it mean to you? Yeah, this is a great performance from the team today from start to finish and then getting my goals icing on the cake for me today. An incredible moment for you to score two minutes after coming on the celebration. Look, so emotional, so special. Talk us through it. Yeah, as soon as it left my foot and I saw it riffling in the back of the net, I just didn't know what to do. Just started sprinting to the closest fans and just started celebrating. As a Chelsea fan, had you imagined a moment like that? Had you played it out in your mind? Well, at the beginning of the season, I, I was hoping I'd get a chance to even play, let alone score. So, yeah, it's crazy. To score a goal and to celebrate it like that in front of, you know, in front of the shed end, it, it, as a, it must give you something. Goosebumps, I'd imagine. So special. Yeah, it's crazy watching the, the replay up on, uh, up on there after I scored. It was just, it was just such a surreal moment for me. And you've already developed such a fantastic bond with the fans. What does it mean to hear them singing your name? Yeah, it gives, gives me goosebumps and I'm trying not to smile every time I hear it. And yeah, just it's so good. And to grow up as a fan, like we said, to watch so many special moments, so many special goals, that must give you a little added extra as well. Yeah, exactly. Like all of the goals I've seen here, watching from the stands, um, yeah, it's just such a big moment for me to even, even play on this pitch and scoring on this pitch is even better. It feels like it's been a season of nearly moments. Did everything come together perfectly tonight? Yeah, I feel like that's that's what we're we're trying to do and we're building and hopefully we can keep going in, in future games. Tell us a bit more about Cole Palmer because he's not a bad player, is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, all of you lot are seeing it here but we see it day in, day out at training. Just a special player and does special things and we see, saw that tonight. He's like you, he's very modest, but a perfect hat-trick in the space of 30 minutes is something pretty incredible, isn't it? Yeah, when his second one went in, I said, all he needs now is a, a right-footed goal. And then and then two seconds later, he scores it. And I said to Ben, well, I see, I, I, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who will remain nameless on the bench was texting me during the game saying, who was the last Chelsea player to score back-to-back -back hat-tricks? And it's like, Didier Drogba in 2010. And that was across two yeah. seasons. So that, I guess, puts into context, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, special player who <laughs> does special things. And it is amazing now, looking at the league table, it's been a roller coaster season. You're three points off of sixth with the game in hand. Does this give you a, a perfect sort of springboard and, and motivation to push on? Yeah, motivation for the last last bit of the season, our last push. And we just take it game by game and we, just, we, see, we see what happens. And the small matter of an FA Cup semi final against Man City of all teams this weekend, that's going to be quite the occasion, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Any semi-final is a, it's a big game, it's important and we all want to win it and make sure we're there for the final. Good luck and well done again tonight. Thank you.